Hello everybody and welcome to this video on the history of the plantation system. Today we are going to talk about how the plantation system came to be and what effects does it have on the European economy. So let us start with the discovery of the new world. At the beginning of the 14th century, European countries had the urge to expand their empires and rise in power. To do so, they sent out expeditions to find easier and faster trade routes. From the most important expeditions was Christopher Columbus's expedition to the Americas in 1492. This expedition opened many opportunities to the Europeans and allowed them to set colonies there. The vast fertile areas allowed colonies to benefit from the plantation system. As the colonies grew in America, they found that the land was fertile and a profit can be made. Thus, the plantation system was born. The plantation system is a division of land into smaller units under private ownership and getting people to work, plant, and harvest. In fact, this was the very first forms of capitalism. Some of these crops, also known as cash crops, included sugar, rice, tobacco, coca, coffee, and cotton. Sugar ended up replacing tobacco and cotton was the main crop later on. Nevertheless, the plantation system required a huge workforce to work on the large lands. However, the colonists weren't fit for the job. So to maximize their profits, they wanted free labor. Thus, they used slaves. At the beginning, they forced natives to work, but it turned out that they aren't fit for such hard labor. So, the idea of African slaves came to mind since they were physically fit. The production of these crops rested on the alienation of basic human rights of the African people. Europeans argued that the so-called uncivilized African were hardly human in the first place. Since they thought that slaves were not human, this justified their bad treatment. Punishment, torture, and exhausting work were key mechanisms of enforcing their control over the slaves. Slaves would die of harsh working hours, lack of sanitation, machinery, accidents, and hazardous conditions. This led to the death rate among the slaves to be high, which in turn made owners lose money. To replace their losses, plantation owners encouraged the slaves to have children. The plantation system came to define the culture and economy of the South. In that region, plantations came to dominate the economy. This uh, created an economy that had fewer businesses and small farms than the North. It also created a society that was aristocratic and not egalitarian. Instead, it was dominated by uh, plantation owners who thought of themselves as the elite of society. The Slave Trade As we know, in the 17th century, Europeans began to establish settlements in the Americas. Starting in Virginia, the system spread to the New England colonies. Agricultural production was infested in the South. For the plantation owners, the easiest and cheapest way for the owner to get workers was through slavery since it was cheaper to own the workers than to pay wages. They got slaves through the slave trade, the slaves were captured in their country, mainly Africa, and were traded for goods from England. England slave traders would load as many slaves as possible into ships and then transfer them across the ocean and this passage that they took was called the Middle Passage. The Middle Passage was a journey across the Atlantic Ocean from Africa to the colonies, which is a part of a larger trading route called the Transatlantic Trade or the Triangular Trade. The Triangular Trade was from the colonies to Europe and then to Africa and back to the colonies. Plantation owners thus owned the land, the tools, and the labor force. The effects of the plantation system First is the economic effect that led to an emerging world market that enhanced the European's economy, decreased the African's economy, and lead to the formation of the East India Company. Second is the nutritional effect that decreased famine in Europe due to the introduction of new crops and food. Third is the demographic effects which were increasing the increase of population in the, of the Europeans and the decrease of the population of the Africans in Africa, but the increase of Africans in Americas. This is an effect of the slave trade. The education system reached to an end after the people realized the harsh conditions that the slaves go through and abolished the slave trade.